Hey, this is Majinon. Here's some comic reviews for you. And before I go into the reviews, because there's not that many books, uh, I just want to talk about Iron Fist really quick. Uh, I saw the first six episodes, and that's all I can watch. The show is just... It's the worst... One of the worst superhero adaptations I have ever seen, ever. It The story is poorly written. Uh, Danny Rand is... A horrible character the way they wrote him you know I'm gonna try to leave out key spoilers but to make my point you know Danny was trained to fight the hand you know that was his job you know the hand he's never seen the hand and they were always like Satan the boogeyman always lurking and his job was to defeat the hand and protect the gates uh, of the monastery that's all his job was supposed to be. But he decides to travel to New York to get his company back. And which I'm like going, that's not your job. You know, you're supposed to be the Iron Fist. But he wants his company back, even though he has no idea how to run this company. Or what they're even doing. Then, uh, skipping some stuff to, so this way it's not completely sp- Boiler filled. Uh, there's, he has to save a girl. He fights three hand assassins. And the premise is, if he beats the assassins, the hand has to give the girl to Danny, and they have to leave his company. If Danny loses, then the he has to step back. And he cannot interfere with the hand's affairs. Now keep in mind, this is somebody who said repeatedly throughout the entire series, my job is to defeat the hand. My job is to destroy the hand. My job is to, you know, fight the hand. Well, he fought the hand. And when uh, the hand betray the terms of the conditions, he's given the option of either the girl dying or he has to forfeit. And he goes, well, you know, <clears throat> I made a promise to bring the girl home, so uh, I forfeit. And that's when I forfeited this show. That is the biggest bunch of bull I've ever seen in my life. He, who cares about this girl? His job is to kill the hand. His hand has infested his company. And that's his should have been his focus. The fact that he... The hand broke the, you know, was dishonorable and broke the terms. The fact that, you know, he gave up and he's supposed to stay away, but he doesn't. So now he's being, in a sense, dishonorable because now he's not honoring the terms. You know, and it's it just the whole thing is just nonsense and it's stupid. Then when you compile that on top of extremely bad martial arts. This is some of, I mean, the best way I can describe this so you can understand is imagine somebody watched like various martial arts movies or movies that contain mar- really good fight scenes like The Old Boy, uh, you know, Ip Man, um, the uh, drunk, J- Jackie Chan's Drunken Master, The Raid, um, you know, those types of movies. You know, anything with Jet Li in it. And what they did was over summer vacation, they decided to teach the actors these fight scenes. And they didn't get a really good martial arts choreographer. They just basically picked some random guy who, you know, thought he knew what he's talking about. And like I said, during summer break, they sat down and they took apart these scenes and threw them into this show. And that is the quality of martial arts that you have. The The very beginning scene with when Danny enters his business and the guards try to get, you know, chase him out. And there's like a minor fight. You know, it's not really even a fight. He's basically uh, dodging their attacks and using their momentum against him. But there's moments in time where the security guards move so slow that it looks like it's kind of like they're they're they ha- they used practice footage, or again it boils down to 
you know the the actors involved in the scene do not know how to handle a martial arts fight so they're going in slow mo so that way nobody gets you know hurt or it doesn't really look as bad but the end result is it looks horrible because it's like it's just poorly done and the ending is is I've seen the spoiler on the ending and it, that ending is just nonsense uh, there's other things along the way that deal with Colleen Wing, which are again, it's convenience nonsense. The whole series is the it's the worst. It's it, it's I can't watch the rest. It's that simple. It, that's how bad it is. And anybody who, in my, my opinion, anybody who says it's not that bad, they've they've never seen a martial arts movie before because they're accepting eyesores. You know, it's it's that's what it is. It's an eyesore. But anyways, uh, let's get on to some reviews. Suicide Squad number fourteen. This is basically Harley Quinn going on a rampage to get revenge, and there's a big surprise thing at the end. Which, if you've seen the probably the you know DC preview books and stuff, the, you already kind of know what's coming up. The book is broken up into two different sections. One is like Harlequin and what's going on in that world. And then the other part of it is Boomerang at a bar, you know, kind of like feeling very sad because he killed a teammate. Or, and then the story picks up from there and it reconnects into the main storyline. Overall, I mean, it's just okay. It's nothing fantastic. But it's better than most, better than the Avengers and the X Men, so that's why I picked it up. Exo Man of War number one. This book was amazing. The art is fantastic, and there's there is quite a bit of fighting in here, which was I was very pleased with. The uh, gist of the story is, I think his his name was Eric. He's sitting on a planet. He's you know he's lost half of his arm he just wants to be a farmer and he gets dragged into this war and they're basically planning on using him as a meat shield because he's not a soldier but then he quickly proves that he's definitely not a meat shield and then that's where the story is going to start picking up where and then he has his armor but he's actually going to now use it in the second issue but overall this was fantastic i i was very pleased and they did a, a great, great job with this. Everything. Even the paper, the quality of the cover was good. Uh, the paper quality is decent. Great job. Detective Comics 953. Basically, the League of Assassins is taking out everybody else. Clayface is taken out. They take out Batwoman. And it's now just basically Orphan and Batman. Versus the League. Now... I was enjoying everything up to this point. The art was great. The storytelling was great. Now, granted, I realized that even though all these people are taken out, nobody's going to die, and everybody's just going to be fine at the end. But the ending just, you know, on one hand just made my eyes roll because the League of Assassins is on a r rampage. You know, I really don't see how Batman and Orphan could survive this because it's, it's that overwhelming. I mean, I guess the only way is if Orphan finally uh, basically does her best and actually starts to uh, attack. That's the only way that this thing could change. But then I saw the ending and I'm like, oh, here we go again. But overall, I mean, I still liked it. Great cover. Great. St I mean, it's still a great story. Overall, very, very pleased with it regardless. And um, anyways, that's the reviews and Iron Fist rant. And like I said, do yourself a favor. Just watch a spoiler review and uh, you, you'll, you don't need to watch this show. That's how bad it is. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Like, share. And um, until next time.